Whoa, what's them? Today's video is on Snoop Dogg and the expectations that y'all have for these goddamn public figures, goddamn it. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. First things first, this is an ignorance disclaimer. If you think I'm about, I'm hating on Snoop, I could, I could see you right now. Oh, he hating on Snoop. This is not about Snoop. This is about black people. This ain't got shit to do with Snoop himself. Oh, he hating on crips i don't i'm not a crip all blood i ain't hating on no fucking body oh you hating on snoop well get your ignorant ass out of here we have no time for childish motherfuckers you are witnessing a rebel network in case you don't know where the fuck you at but let's get directly to the apology that he gave the gail king after she disrespected his dead friend god damn it. i was raised way better than that so i would like to apologize to you publicly for language that I used and calling you out of your name and just being disrespectful. I didn't mean for it to be like that. I was just expressing myself for a friend that wasn't here to defend himself. Um, a lot of people look up to me and they love me and they appreciate me, so I want to let them know that. Anytime you mess up, it's okay to fix it. It's okay to man up and say that you're wrong. I apologize. Hopefully we can sit down and talk privately. Have a good day. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Y'all heard what he said? He want to apologize for the language that he used after you disrespected his dead friend. Now, when y'all first met Snoop Dogg, guess who the fuck Snoop Dogg was? You know, before we get to how he apologized to somebody for disrespecting his dead friend. This who he was. He was gangster Snoop. Remember that? Smoking weed, Snoop. Drive by 187 on the undercover fucking cop, Snoop. God damn it. You know what gangsters who talk about shit like that do when you disrespect their dead homie, dead friend, dead crip, bl dead blood, dead beat, uh, BD, fucking BDGD, or whatever the fuck you want to bring up, god damn it. You know what they do? They kill people when they disrespect them. Ask Chicago when niggas be making them songs and disrespecting the fuck out of dead people. They go back and kill those people so all of a sudden hardcore snoop dog you apologizing now huh that's because when y'all come into black people you could feed that ignorance huh it's all right to give us the green light to smoke and shoot each other and sell drugs and pimp women and shit huh it's all right to do that for us but when you attack old mainstream it's time to not be crip walking snoop dog no more let's get to um the red table though with old jada pinky smith who just Ooh, I ain't gonna even just get directly into it, y'all. Let's get to the clip before our block talk break the shit down. But y'all see how gangster he was? Remember this gangster snoop round this bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go to that uh scene, y'all. Hey, Kobe Bryant. When you first came out and you said what you said, you know, in regards to Gail. Yes. My heart dropped. I felt like not only were you talking to Gail, but you were talking to me. Yeah. I was like, oh no, Snoop has now taken his power flow away from me, away from Willow, mm. away from my mother. Mm -mm. Now, did y'all hear that bullshit? She felt like he took son from her, her mama, and everybody. Took power away from all of them for disrespecting somebody who disrespected his dead fucking friend. He just said somebody should retaliate. Called a few dogs. Ooh, that's so fucking offensive. You know what the hell gangsters that he claimed to be would do to her fucking ass for doing some shit like that? Do you know what would have really happened to Gail on the fucking street? God damn it For disrespecting somebody Friend around this motherfucker Get the hell out of here But y'all should understand That you cannot trust These motherfucking public figures I don't give a fuck What uh platform they on It could be a singer Dancer Motherfucking athlete Uh actor whatever the fuck they is they don't stand for your ass remember he was gangster snoop then he went to no limit who was he snoop dog pimping and gangster and shit look at the uh album cover big snoop dog around this motherfucker what was the name is of the album god damn it um 
no limit top dog and the game is to be sold and all of that bullshit see he gangster when it come to us y'all shoot him up fucking bang bang god damn it he did whatever the fuck them people wanted him to do they told him to push that image out you think this shit is a coincidence especially after that murder trial and shit like that god damn it he was ready to sell out he damn near cried in that courtroom and shit get the fuck out of here he done whatever they wanted to stay relevant around this bitch y'all but back to old jada pinkett smith as we think about the bullshit you did as we think about it jada pinkett smith the same one who out here messing with uh tory lanes or one of them dudes she always out here cooney you know oprah probably sent her y'all oprah probably sent her gail probably sent her she is a part of the machine so any woman who's sitting around thinking jada is some type of conscious mecca or some bullshit she is surely not you are witnessing the rebel network she is a fucking plant who think that she can tell black people anything and get away with anything god damn it she wouldn't worry about gangsters when she was hanging around snoop and treaching everybody back then and roughneck this and roughneck that round this motherfucker you understand what i'm saying but snoop did anything these fucking people wanted him to do pay attention to this shit y'all y'all remember this after No Limit Snoop, he went to being Snoop and Pharrell, you know, uh, drop it like it's hot and all of that bullshit, remember? He was still gangster. Look, if a nigga get an attitude and crip walking when it come to you, goddammit, and then to stay relevant, he did whatever the fuck they told him to do. Country Snoop. You are witnessing a rebel network. See, he was country Snoop. He did anything he needed to do. Snoop Dogg is a hell of an actor. Except for the movies where he directing and writing and shit. You know, the movies he created on his own, that shit is terrible and somebody should stop him. Nah, but when he on the wash and other shit that people producing, he a hell of an actor. That's why he perfect to play this fake gangster that y'all seem to actually think he is. Even after he snitched on uh, Snoop, um, what his name is, Shug? Knight and shit. He told the police that it was Suge Knight who done that shit to uh Snoop. I mean Tupac. Go look that shit up. He straight told on people. Fuck out of here. And they got paperwork on it in case you think it. Oh, you just hating because y'all dumb as fuck. I know how some of y'all think. You know my rebels out here who been watching me. Y'all know what's popping. Y'all know you're witnessing the Rebel Network, goddamn it. But look at him. All hugged up with Willie Nelson and shit. Feeling good, ain't you? Because he do whatever they tell him to do. But some of y'all up there surprised because he apologized. Man, I can't believe Snoop. No, no. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Snoop is the one who will push anything he needs to, one, get fucking money. Two, obey the rules that them people tell him to obey to remain fucking relevant. He need the money. This what y'all support. Remember y'all love bag chases. I'm chasing the bag. Anything for the bag. This is what the fuck happens when you chasing the bag. Look how goofy this nigga look. And then how stupid they think he is when he really needs some more relevancy. Remember he turned into a uh, roster Snoop. This motherfucker is like a Power Ranger. Y'all know how they had Turbo, Power Ranger, Samurai One. How many Snoop Dogs have we been through so far? Let's fuck around with it, God damn it. Here you go. Go, go, gangster Snoop. God damn it. Go, go, pimp. No limit Snoop. God damn it. Go, go, crip walking for real Snoop around this bitch. And right now we on Snoop Rasta around this motherfucker. When he was walking around this bitch talking about he Snoop lying. And oh, I ain't gonna be doing no drugs and none of that. No guns and drugs and none of that. But see, when he was talking to us, he was pushing it though. But oh, since you a Rasta, it ain't nothing about guns and drugs or none of that but when you was just black or speaking for the black men the black men in the street who can't find his job who gotta push this and sell that and just hustle for anything to eat everything may not be right about their lifestyle god damn it but it's societal fucking uh uh y'all know what the fuck i'm saying societal uh roadblocks god damn it that pro that helps this shit happen god damn it that keep this shit rolling but anyway as we keep going through this uh go go power range ass snoop shit because it don't stop there god damn it we on snoop rasta huh? god damn it now let's get the gospel snoop see see that be when them niggas just need money y'all know who the who passed the mace is then after that he came back and what was he talking about murder guns drugs when he talking to you though 
when they talking to you and making the album though is guns and drugs and this and fucking that y'all and after this gospel album by the way he did make that I wanna thank me album first of all you gotta know a con artist when you see him look at that fucking picture of Snoop Dogg with all that fake shit and y'all bought it just like you bought the Kanye shit the May shit and all these other dudes who try to turn to the church and shit to scam them idiots and the whole gospel uh shit all all of them was with it. BET, all of them. Let you know who all the motherfucking plants is, goddammit. So he was Snoop Gospel on that one. Don't think it stopped there, y'all. He made an album called I Wanna Thank Me. And guess what he turned into for that album? Shazam, Conscious Snoop. Now we got conscious Snoop around this motherfucker. Y'all see what the fuck I'm saying? This dude will do whatever the fuck they tell him to do. So I don't know why you're shocked. All of your favorite rappers is most likely coons, goddammit. Understand this by now. You probably be on the fence. Man, well, not him. Well, not JC, y'all. Man, I know my nigga the Migos. And all of these niggas know what they doing. They know what they got to push. Them people, them people be in the fucking executive room telling them, all right, we're going to need you to talk about more guns, drugs. Oh, we're moving them more in a drug direction. Taking prescription drugs. We're not going to talk about the gangster stuff. You know, back in Snoop's days, we're, we're kind of moving away from that. We want them to get addicted to these prescriptions and we want them to have unprotected sex, you know, and chase the materialistic items. You know, materialism. Push. We're pushing that these days. Not those baggy pants wearing guys. These days, we're going to wear some tight jeans. See? You don't think fucking these people orchestrated this shit in advance? Well, we do. You are witnessing the fucking Rebel Network. That's why. And guess what? Go Go Power Ranger Snoop does not stop there, motherfucker. Because this when he was conscious, I want to thank me. What the fuck are you thanking yourself for? For getting us to hustle and kill each other. And whenever you're talking to some other race or playing the acting role for another race, your country, Snoop. You know, you ain't saying nothing violent then or pushing that shit on them. You understand what I'm saying here, people? Stop expecting something from these coons, bruh. If they own TV, more than likely, they sell outs around this motherfucker. They don't put real people in front of your face, goddammit. Why you think Nipsey was just buried underground? You didn't know about all of his operations. That's because they didn't want you to know. But once again, we still own Go-Go Power Ranger Snoop. Guess what? Now he about to morph into Martha Snoop, Martha Snoop goddammit. Martha Snoop, Snoop Brown, this bitch. Well, he stay hugged up with this woman. Y'all see this shit? Look, he loved, uh, at one point, people thought they was dating and everything. Remember that shit? They was like, is Snoop doing something? You know, we know he's married, but his wife crazy as hell. She always let him, you know, cheat in the public and shit, but she'll be back with him. So maybe, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Was you with this woman? But I know you do anything that they tell you to do. And anything to get the next fucking dollar God damn it these dudes is coons You can call him Uncle Snoop But really he's Uncle fucking Tom Around this motherfucker And what they did after you apologize Y'all don't find it odd that after He fucking apologized This shit comes out They was punishing him They was punishing that boy Right quick, goddammit, you are witnessing a rebel network. Guess which one is son, goddammit, the one at the top with the big ass fucking pink flower on his goddamn shirt. That's his son around this motherfucker. You see that shit? And at the bottom is his daughter. All of a sudden, you, you Snoop Dogg daughter. Do you really have to do all of that bullshit? Hell nah. Why are you doing that? See, that's because they punished him. I think this shit dropped right after uh, he apologized. It was like they made him apologize and they shamed him like this by showing his first bond or whichever bond that dude is, you know, showing him in drag or whatever the hell he was doing around this motherfucker. Snoop Boy, you the motherfucking shame of, the, of a nation around this motherfucker. And let this be an example to y'all. People like Snoop Dogg don't work for you. Don't speak for you and don't give a fuck about you. They give a fuck about their next dollar while shutting up about knowing what the fuck these executives up to. Like old Tory Lanes and shit talking about, I'm going to expose it uh, in a scope. And then they paid him and he shut up just like these fools. Except they just play the game smooth, goddammit, and keep deceiving you. But they ain't deceiving us, goddammit. Once again, y'all holler at me.